What up, everybody? It's your boy, Ricky Rick, and your boy, Ricky Rick, is back with another Ricky Talk, and today is March 25th, 2023. In case you didn't know, now you know. Now, before I let you guys go, there is one other comedian who has a stand-up, and that is Chris Rock that has come out with selective outrage. Everybody knows this stand-up as being the first project since the Oscars where he got slapped by Will Smith, the actor, the entertainer. Um, this stand-up special called Selective Outrage is also Chris Rock's way to respond to that slap that has been felt and heard across the world where he's calling Will Smith Suge Knight which is pretty funny after you hear the first time. He also said that he hears summertime ringing in his ears, which is another funny thing because summertime is one of Will Smith or probably Will Smith's biggest hit in his music career. Then he also responds to the slap saying Jada has hurt Will Smith more than Chris Rock's jokes because Jada has interviewed Will Smith talking about cheating on him and not only addressing it but addressing it in front of the world which is pretty weird what kind of people do that these kind of famous people chris rock also goes on a couple minutes saying the b-i-t-c-h word and he also responds by saying that he did not fight will smith why did he not fight back and the reason why he did not fight back is because he says clearly himself that he has parents and that his parents told him never to fight in front of white people now for me personally what did i think about this special i think you know the special is pretty good um i think for the most part what people are waiting to hear is those last eight minutes so you can watch the next week special until you get to that interesting last eight minutes before he wraps it up and calls it a night or you can watch the whole thing but for me as i was watching it i was waiting for him obviously to respond just like everybody else come out swinging jabbing but he didn't really get into that he actually did deliver a stand-up had other things to talk about because a lot of people know that his ticket prices went sky high after what happened in the Oscars and everybody was waiting and wanted to be a part of that moment where he talks about the situation. But obviously he did not talk about it until just now. Or maybe he has and we are barely witnessing now us, the world, and everybody who have not attended the show because it got dropped on Netflix. It was the very first live stand-up because he does mess up in this stand-up at a certain point. Just like I do my Ricky Talks, they're all live. There's no cuts there's no edits i go all in from start to finish if i mess up i mess up and that's one of the things that we can appreciate from these entertainers that sometimes they have their material they have their material written down or well uh organized in their head in construction of how they're going to perform and how they're going to attack you know being in front of a live audience you know that's something that i am uh, also learning to do myself because you know I obviously record my videos usually by myself usually I try to do it somewhere where I won't be disturbed there's no room for people interrupting me um, I am trying to get better at you know working with people uh, on these videos because I have had a moment in time where I had people who were volunteering to join me in videos and be part of my Ricky Talks and that's somewhere where I would like to get back to so if there's anybody out there who is willing to hop on in a video with me and talk about a certain thing whatever it is can be sports can be relationships whatever it is I'm open to anything and yeah I think my situation is very positive very um welcoming I am not one to judge and this is a no joke no judge free zone so we can always talk about everything but just want to give my thoughts uh obviously chris rock is a great comedian he's an icon he's a legend he's one of the best one of the best ones that we have right now who are still living and i just think that his special right now was okay to me like i said if you just want to hear about what he has to say about the whole will smith thing you know obviously i feel like he had 
to use this time to respond. Obviously, you say what he had to say. He finally got it off his chest. He called this guy a B-I-C-T-H and, you know, said what he had to say. Let the world know that, yeah, his slap did hurt. It hurt more than his face, but it also made him filthy rich, made him some money. So, yeah, Will Smith has suffered and is continuing to suffer. But I think both men should move past this, go beyond this, you know, and Will Smith can go back to doing movies. And those who are willing to look past him, forgive him, can move on. Everybody has a bad day. Everybody has a bad night and should not be judged by a certain action. We can all say that it was probably not Will Smith's best day. It was probably not his best move. But for the most part of his career, he has been a pretty good role model for people to look up to. And like a lot of people are expressing about him, you know. But that doesn't mean that you can't come back from this. Uh, for Chris Rock, he said what he had to say. Um, I don't think no one can blame him. He took a hit. He had to say his whatever he had to say. And I think he said it. And I think we can now move on beyond this because it's going to get a little annoying if this is all we have to talk about these two characters moving forward. So I look forward to whatever they do. I'm looking forward to Will Smith's Bad Boys 4. There's rumors that there's going to be I Am Legend with Michael B. Jordan. So I'm looking forward to his movie career of him coming back, maybe regaining that momentum again as for chris rock i hope he you know continues to be an actor and a comedian and delivers another stand-up special because i think that's the one that's gonna really you know see if he can deliver greatness once again besides using what he has right now which is the slap but yeah the stand-up to me was all right but if you're talking about just based on the whole Will Smith response, then yeah, it was pretty good. As always, it's your boy Ricky Rick. If I'm not making you laugh, I'm not making you smile, or not keeping you saying your boy Ricky Rick can't do this job. You already know your boy Ricky Rick does his job. As always, thank you for tuning in, watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Your boy Ricky Rick, I'm out.